What's up everybody? Okay, this is a little bit different, but Alex and I were driving around. It's Saturday right now. We like wanted to get out of the house. We were driving around looking for curb alert stuff. And oh my gosh, one of these houses had like so many bags out in front of it and they just had a garage sale. It was like leftover garage sale stuff. I started looking through the bags and all of it is like this old vintage, like nostalgic toys, vintage, like dainty, pretty lacy, like dolls and dresses and stuff. It's crazy. So I filled our car up already. We came home because the truck works now so we're gonna take the truck back over there and we're just gonna like load all of the rest of it back up because look at some of this stuff okay so this is what I put in the car this is like a vintage doll in there she's got like a little table and chairs this I don't even know how old these are 19, 1989, so there's that. There's another big doll right there. There's all of this stuff. What's under there? Oh, that was actually a different curb alert. This has like just a couple clothes in it and stuff. Here's more, oh my gosh, cute. A little Poland doll. But like literally there's so many cool vintage dolls. There's another one underneath there. And then in this is all of these vintage um, <laughs> McDonald's toys. Like this little guy. And there's um, these hamburgers. This one's from 1988 McDonald's. I guess maybe they like turn into something. Oh, look, it's like a transformer. How do you do it though? Okay, I got it open. What is it? <laughs> okay, well, it's that. There's like a few of those. Here's another hamburger. 1987. So there's like so many cool vintage things. These old like Disney characters. So yeah, tons and tons and tons of stuff. And there were probably 10 more bags that we left. So we're just gonna hop in the truck and drive over. It's so cool. Eyes on the road. <laughs> truck bed full so uh i'll look through it this weekend and show you guys what kind of stuff is in there <laughs> Okay, so it's like several days later now. I am about to look through some of the bags and I think I decided that this video is gonna be like part one, part two, possibly part three. There's literally so much stuff. So it's definitely at least gonna be two different videos. Today I've set aside three huge trash bags full of stuff that I'm going to be opening and looking through with you guys on camera and I also want to show you some of the loose stuff that we just like grabbed from the side. It wasn't in bags um, because some of that stuff is so cool. So these are the three bags that I'm going to be looking through today. They're huge bags and this is some of the loose stuff that we just grabbed. So I want to start with this to show you guys because I know y'all have been like, you need a step stool and check it out. Step stool still got the tag on it. So there we go. My newest dumpster diving tool. We got a lot of books. This is like a vintage book from the thirties about Houston. It's like very delicate and beautiful. And it has this um, newspaper clipping from, I guess that's Houston maybe. It says it was $2.50. So there's that, there's like an Old Spice mug, little shaving mug, it's in there, that's really cool. Um, all of these 
boxes of dolls. So like this is a Cabbage Patch rocker. It doesn't come with the doll, but it's like the little rocker. There's this giant vintage Santa decor. I'm in love with him. I'm not selling this guy. I'm gonna keep him for sure. He's in there. You just can't really see him. I don't know what's in this box. Um, there's this box that I don't know what's in there. And then over here, this is more stuff from those, that same like curbside. There's like a lot, a lot, a lot of vintage lit. <laughs> Vintelage. There's a lot of vintage porcelain dolls. This is like a Scooby Doo costume. More vintage dolls. They're all in the boxes. I don't know what's in this box. I can see sort of, this is probably books, but I don't really know what's in this. This is just brand new, still in the box. So that's cool. Uh, this vintage Wilson racket. There's a bunch of shoes under there. As you can see, this is gonna be like super fun to look through because it literally is just like all vintage stuff. Tons of it is new in the box. So many cool things. So, without further ado, we will now start looking through the bags. All right, this bag's already open, so we're just gonna dive in. Oh, and I did learn that this person is a teacher. So, a lot of this stuff is like school supplies or like, you know, educational pamphlets and stuff. Here's a cute little fireman's helmet. Oh, how pretty. So these look like napkins or like table linens. <laughs> Aw, cute. See, that's what I mean. This is like classroom stuff. So there's like a big snowman poster. <laughs> Get that pillow out of there. Okay, I'll set this. Oh my gosh, I remember these. <laughs> so these are like I spy books for school kids. Lots of books in this one. Ooh. This Alice in Wonderland giant pop-up. That is really cool. Huh. It says... 1990. So there's that one. More books. It is already toasty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like stuff, like I've seen some of this stuff in the other things that I already saw, but it's like little flashcards for, for kids at school. So I'm probably gonna put these in a specific pile. Lesson plan. See, like more flashcards. More flashcards. Uh, I guess these are placemats. See, okay, this is still brand new in the package. This is a 1968 puzzle of the United States. That is super cool. Lots of flashcards in this one. Flashcards, flashcards. Here's the Little Red Riding Hood pop-up book. Oh, look at these, these are bags with pennies in them. Not entirely sure what those are. Maybe like a reward system for the students. Lots of pennies. Butterfly cutouts, those are good for crafts. <laughs> New in the box, still sealed. 
This is a Goldilocks and the Three Bears. What is this? A puzzle? A game? <laughs> 1993. That is really cool. How cool. Okay, so there's that. Another pop up. This is awesome. I'm probably going to want to sell those like as a lot, you know? People might be really into pop up books. Here's a couple more books. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all about dinosaurs. And it has like the funny eyeballs. Flashcards. My hand pruners. I don't know what this is. It's like a little storybook. Oh, it's my first garden tools. It's about gardening. Oh! Oh, some cute fake flowers. Here's another one. So these are cute. They're like little gardening books for kids. There's also lots of cassettes. This person had a lot of cassettes. That's cool stuff. <laughs> Little gingerbread guy. 1989. I guess you make him a cake. <laughs> Just a picture of George Bush. No big deal. He's like got some little some little papers with him. Oh, pretty butterfly picture, little posters for the classroom. <laughs> Books on cowboys. Here's a few. Oh, look, yarn. And some tiny yarn in there. Okay, look. Where did that picture of Bush go? Okay, so he's with the little guys, right? The little paper things. It says, this is when he was just the governor, <laughs> I guess. It says, 95. It says, dear students, thank you for sending me your flat Stanley to spend the day with me. So. He says, see the attached schedule. Flat spent a busy day in my office at the state capitol in Austin. Oh my gosh. And then it signed George Bush. And then there's the picture. Okay, that is actually really cool. I don't know, like, n what to do with this necessarily. It might just, like, still just be trash. But, like, that's actually really fun. That's just, like, a cute little memorabilia thing. Oh, <gasps> Oh my god! Is this the one? <gasps> yes! <laughs> this is so exciting. Okay, look. So there, it's this one right there in the picture with him. Jack. <laughs> you can see in this one he's got the green shirt and red tie. And there he is! Oh my gosh, okay, I need to keep all of this together. That is really cute. And there's the letter. <laughs> that is so fun. I think that, I don't know if they still are interested in it, but I know at one point my like nieces and nephews, they were really into the Flat Stanley thing. So I'll show them that. They might think that that's so cool because like I think it's really cool. Tiniest little like pots I've ever seen. So three tiny terracotta pots. In the rest of the bag, it's just more papers. There's like a couple like things of crafts, but for the most part, it's everything we've already seen. It's cassettes, it's more teacher papers, it's a lot of flashcards. So I'm going to move on to a new bag.
Maybe move away from the school supplies. We're now on to bag number two. This one I wanna look at specifically because it's really heavy, like very heavy. So, here it is. <laughs> and I'm just gonna rip it from the side. Oh. Oh no. Do you see what I see? <gasps> Do you see it? Oh my god. I don't even know if these are like expensive or worth anything. But like th this is just like on the curb and you can be like I'll go pick it up and then you get in these bags and it's like tons of like new in the box vintage cabbage patch kids. That's insane to me. Oh my gosh. Here they are. Sorry, you can hear Pilgrim barking in the background. Okay, so this one is 1992. This is the limited edition 10th anniversary. And then this one is, no date on the bottom, oh my gosh. The official Cabbage Patch. Look at that cute face. So there's the certificate and adoption papers. Oh. I would love to know the year. Oh, here we go. 1983. 1983 84. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll set these up over here. There's one, and there's two. Eee! Okay, what else is in here? <laughs> brand new Christmas wreath or holiday wreath. Uh, it's blank and you can decorate it. That's really cool. Oh, there's the front side. Okay, that's probably why this bag was so heavy actually. So that's really cool. Sweet Christmas decor. There's a cute little blanket. Are these Cabbage Patch Kids? Oh my gosh, this is a Cabbage Patch Kids little comforter. It says cabbage patch there. It is definitely falling apart. How cool! Oh, cute! Okay, so, oh my gosh, 1983 cabbage patch. That's awesome! This person loved cabbage patch kids. Is this a garden stone, maybe? It's a little bit broken on the side, but it's very heavy. It's really pretty. Cool. Nothing on the back. Oh, wait. No, wait. It's not for stepping on. It's got a little hook up there. Cool. Okay. This is a lot of books in here. Can y'all see? Oh, look at this little one. Hooked on phonics, little whatever. <laughs> Lots of books. Another one. Wow. Lots and lots and lots of books. So I think the rest of this bag might just be kids books, which is really cool. I'll definitely donate a lot of them. Some of them are really nice and I would like to try to sell them, especially like the pop-up books and stuff. Oh cute, this one you like lift up the flap to see more. Oh 
Oh, look. Here's a whole bag of those leapfrog things. Little like, the, it's like the game call. You know, you put it in something. I wonder if the actual leapfrog device is in here. Oh, there's a bunch more. And leapfrog vocabulary books. Oh, that's just an answer sheet. There's these. Do y'all think I should keep these? Maybe I will just to be sure. This is the Cabbage Patch like authenticity certificate. I'll definitely keep it for now because I might go with like one of these over here. So there was that one and then there's Well, there was, oh, here it is. So that is something. Oh, the registration certificate. Okay, well, I'll keep those for now just to be safe. Ooh, that book looks really pretty. How cool. Lots of books. I am making quite the mess in our driveway. <laughs> okay, well, hold on, I'm very sweaty. <sighs> Texas summers. And I tried to get up early too to come do this so I could, you know, get it done before it gets too hot, but. I'm just gonna like push that one over there. And then this bag, you know, my third bag might, I might pick a different last bag actually for this one because this bag is really light and it does have some tears in it. And I think I can see it's just like cardboard boxes. So if it's really like boring, then I'll do one more bag. <laughs> okay, that last bag was boring and my phone overheated. So I had to go inside and let it cool down for a little bit, but I did open it up and it was just the boxes. The only thing in it that wasn't a box were these toys, which are pretty cool. Okay, that's a box and you already saw that one. But this one's like an old little schoolhouse. And you can like look in there. It's got like a chalkboard. It's kind of hard to tell. There it goes. So it's like a little schoolhouse. It's really cute and just like some wooden, I guess like block toys, I'm not 100% sure what this is, but there's just like a few of those. Oh, this is like a Fisher Price level. Very cool. 1986. Wow. So I guess that's, okay, there's that. A little wooden toy that you pull around. <laughs> so that is what was in that bag. So since I didn't actually get to show any of it and it was like, you know, mostly boxes, I am gonna do one more bag today. Actually, you know what? I might open, instead of doing a whole nother bag, I think I'm gonna do some of the boxes that I don't know what the stuff is because those are actually like, have been the coolest so far. So I think what I actually might do is see what's in this one. see what's in this one. Oh, I'll show y'all this. I already saw it because it's it's open on the front. And I don't actually know who this is. So if anybody knows, I mean, I could ask my dad. He'd probably know for sure. Is that Clint Eastwood? Is that John Wayne? Is this adorable little bobblehead? Let me get some better lighting. So there he is. He's got a cigar. He's got his guns out. But it's definitely a little bobblehead of some like Western, you know, figure. So there he is. I really like that. It's cute. It doesn't have any markings on the box other than that little picture on the top. But I'll put him back there. Uh, yeah, let's look in this box. And then here's another box actually right here that I said I think I can tell it's books, but I don't entirely know what it is. And what about over here too? <laughs> There's seriously so much stuff. This box, I don't know what it is. So let's do this one too. And now I need to find some scissors. Okay. 
There were scissors in one of those bags, so now I can open the boxes easily. Okay, this might be this. It might just be what it says it is. But let's see. Ooh, I hope that wasn't breakable. Okay, so it's actually two boxes. I'm taking my gloves off. It's so hard to do it, like, to actually use my hands. Okay, what is this? Oh, shoot. My bad. Is, what is it? Is it an aquarium? actually okay the box says my fun fish single offer my fun fish cleaning tank so that actually is just what it is it comes with some rocks and then I swear I'm gonna break this this little plastic thingy <laughs> that I assume attaches somehow so okay these actually are just what they say they are myfunfish.com I'm gonna have to look that up and and see how much they sell for, see what it actually is. Oh, there's more. <laughs> so a little plant for your fish and the top, I suppose. So there we go. We got two of those. Also the instructions are in here and it is a little aquarium. Sweet. All right, well, there's two of those. Those will be really easy to sell since they're in the original box. They have all the parts with them. Uh, I only opened it just now to see in it, so it's never been opened. Although I have no clue how to get it back into the box. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it sitting right there for a sec. Okay, so what do we have here? And these boxes were all from the same place too. These were mostly the ones that I got the first time we drove by um, when I like packed the car full. So these were all from that same thing. Actually, on the side here that I'm just seeing, it is a nativity set, hand painted with figurines from Sears. Oh my gosh! And yeah, that's what it is. So there's that. I assume this box has the figurines in it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I love them. Where's the pet there? We'll set him here. <laughs> this guy's so casual. <laughs> We gotta get baby Jesus, where is he? Aha. He's a baby. Cute. Oh my gosh, okay. I think that's all of them in there. Oh no, there's one more. Oh, there's one more little lamb. Another lamb. So there we go. This really awesome nativity set. 
And then I'm not gonna take it out just cause again, I don't know, I'm bad at getting stuff back in here. But <laughs> here's like the stable and everything. And I don't know what that thing is. But there's that and all the people. So this is like one of my favorite things that I've opened today. I really, really love like religious art sort of stuff. I know that this is like Christmas holiday, but like I just really, really love the way that these look and like the old style like this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it um, or sell it. I'll probably sell it first or try to sell it first. And if it doesn't sell after a while, then I'll use it. This has been used. Um, so it is not brand new because you can see how some of the characters have the little felt on the bottom and some of them are missing it. So it definitely has been used, but it's, well, you know, has it? Yeah, maybe they just taped it back up. So, okay, there's that, which I'm really in love with. And then we have another box here that I'm pretty sure is all books, but a lot of their books are like really cool and also vintage. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> Peanuts! When is this from? 1959. Oh my gosh! It's literally just like the cartoon strips. Okay, well that's very old and very cool. We got Dr. Seuss. More books. Oh look, Cabbage Patch Kids book. Oh, that's a report card. <laughs> books, books, books. All books. Some trash bags. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, so this is actually all just books. Um, I am excited about the Dr. Seuss one and the Peanuts one for sure. This Dr. Seuss one, I don't know what year this one exactly was published. Let's see. 1972. So this one is in fact also vintage. So is the Peanuts one. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, so there's all of that. And the trash bags. Was there one more box? Oh yeah, my phone's on it. I'll move this over here. Here, let me move it into the shade. I think that might help. See how it went to sleep? And then whenever you pick it up, its eyes open. <laughs> oh my God. So it is a Lissy, Lissy doll, worldwide, partly handmade. Copyright from the old German doll factory. Oops, sorry, you couldn't see that. Copyright from the old German doll factory. I don't know what that means. Um, oh, and this is all in German. Wow. Darn, there isn't a date on it. I wonder if it has like a card inside that has the date, but that's beautiful. So there's this beautiful doll. She's sitting on something. I don't exactly know what she's on. Maybe that's her bottle down there or something. 
Wow. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we looked through the bags for this video. I am gonna be definitely doing a part two. There is still so much to look through. Um, but right now, to kind of wrap this one up, I wanted to look up a couple of my favorite items, or like, not even necessarily like my favorite things that we found, but like, the ones that I thought would maybe be more expensive. So, I just, I, cause I always do that as soon as the videos are over, like I go in and like look up everything. So I figured I'll end it today. I have like six items that I'm just gonna look up real quick and get like a general idea for how much they sell for. So the first one I'm starting with is this 1986 Fisher Price Level. And it's like, you know, it's a toy and it's a level. So <laughs> we're gonna look it up. And I just type on Google, um, what did I say, 86? Yeah, 1986, and it is a level. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, so here we go. The first thing that popped up is on eBay for $8. So that one might not be the most expensive thing. Um, let's see what else people are pricing it at. $10. Oh, so okay, it originally came in a whole set. So you can see how there were like way more toys with it. So that's probably why it's cheaper is because it used to be like a part of like a whole tool set. So this one, I'll say five to ten dollars for. Not bad for pulling it off the side of the road though. <laughs> um, let's go with this official Cabbage Patch Kid. Is that all it says? This was from Walmart for $30. And this one was 83. So let's just look at that first. $500? No. Sometimes you'll go and you'll try to look it up to see what it might sell for. And you, you only see people who price it like extremely high I don't know why some people price it so high but some of the other ones actually are there's 49 140 55 37 35 these are not all exactly this exact doll but they are all from um, the early 80s so it's kind of like a way to see so I'm gonna say this one anywhere from like 50 to 70 dollars that's probably like around where I'll price it. And then you can always price high and be able to accept a lower offer that, um, but if you, you know, if you price it what you want to get for it, like if I priced this at $35, someone's gonna offer me 20, right? No one, for the most part, people aren't just gonna buy it outright, especially on Poshmark and eBay and places where you can make offers. So I'll always price it a little bit high and accept an offer. And I just found this in here. Oh wow! <laughs> it says this is just a little thing that's saying we now make left and right handed cabbage patch dolls. <laughs> that's cool. So okay, there's that little one. Now we will do the 10th anniversary limited edition. And does she have a name? Oh she has a a number. Three one nine six zero most um most items not even you know just vintage items but they're gonna have like a, a number on them somewhere that you can kind of tell is what like differentiates them so this little number is right down here i'm gonna type that in and hopefully that'll help us yeah okay so these are all pictures of this exact doll um this one is 30 22, 30, 30, 30, 30. Okay, so this is all 30. <laughs> so uh, that's probably, you know, what I price for because I always like my prices to be competitive. So this one I say I'll price for like 35 bucks and accept an offer on it. So that's awesome. So far we're already up to what, $70? And this is just from like a few items. So the other one, which I showed you all the box earlier, but this is Old Spice, and I um, 
I saw this one originally because it was loose and I did try to look it up and I didn't find a lot on it um but I I did find that this has been used even though it's in the box I guess what the picture showed is the original when it hasn't been used has like some type of shaving soap in it is what it looks like I don't really know but it's a really really cool vintage old spice shaving mug and it comes with the box let's see number 370 so we'll look up vintage old spice shaving mug 370 there we go so this is the cup by itself no box or anything forty dollars this one same thing oh no that's actually a different mug that one says it's from the 40s and that one's selling for 45. here's mine again for 40. um this actually might be expensive it looks like this one's from the 70s wow it says actually it says it's from the late 50s early 60s that is really cool so old spice shaving mug 40 so we are up to 120 dollars so far i brought in these books because i i really get curious about vintage books most of the time they're not really worth much of anything at all especially like look it's like not in the best condition you know books don't seem to like really like appreciate with value as far as like the ones that i've found but i do want to look this one up 1959 okay so this is penis revisited oh it pops right up as a suggested search 18 10 16 45 see there's the one person who prices it insanely high 10 sweet okay so this book might actually be like a 10 or 15 dollar book so i would probably actually price this book at like 20 dollars and hope to get around 10 or 15. so that's really cool um maybe i wouldn't price it that high it's got some scribbles on the back but i probably would go ahead and put it at like 15 or 16. that way i could accept a little bit of a lower offer so that's awesome there's that and then the very last one is another book and it's the um dr seuss and i'm pretty sure it was from the 70s yeah 1972 and it's called will you please go now i've actually never heard of this dr seuss book uh 1972 How do you spell this? will you please go now book what the first one that pops up says $1,000. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, is it the first edition? No way. Okay, this actually might be like a very exciting one. $1,000, way too high. $150 though, there's $60, there's $1,200, um, and then you get down to like, 10 bucks and stuff so what i will need to look up and research is if this is the first edition or not because i guess that's what's what is what really matters um this one is in bad condition they've taped the bind together and it has like a little sticker on the front that's not like supposed to be there um So I don't know how to know if this is the first edition or not, but like this is really cool. That's sweet. So I will be doing a little bit of research with this one. And those are the only ones that I brought in. So yay! Um, we'll get, you know, ten thousand dollars for this book <laughs> okay what were we at we were at 120 and then i'll just say 20 bucks for this one because if it's not like the fancy first edition like what people are pricing theirs at then it probably is just going to be like a ten dollar book so i won't say much more than like 15 or 20 dollars for that but that means that from the things that we brought in 
we're already up to like 130, 140 dollars. And y'all saw how much is out there, like in my driveway still, and how many bags I still have to go through. Oh my gosh. So, there we go. That's wild. If y'all um, don't know how to find curb alerts, you can go on Facebook Marketplace, and which is market, it's, it's Facebook's like reselling platform. And so you can go on there, you put in your zip code and how far you're willing to drive, and then you just type free into the search bar, or you can type curb, or sometimes like curb alert will also pull stuff up. But free and curb are really the ones that I look for. And you can just go um, and pick stuff up, like garage sale leftovers or things that people have just set out that they don't want anymore. So, you can look on Facebook Marketplace, you can look on Craigslist. Um, I'm sure that there are other places, but those are really the two that I use. This place, um, where all of this stuff is from, actually was not the place that I was intending to go to. This was like a couple streets away from the house that we were actually routing to. We never ended up going there, but we saw all of these bags on the side of the road and so we stopped. So that's another thing. Sometimes you just like happen upon them. Um, but if you see like curb alert stuff, stop and look through it. Like literally this, this stuff is crazy. Like it's so wild. So um, and it's, you know, it's basically the exact same as dumpster diving, but it is a little bit cleaner. Um, sometimes like normally it's not in bags i haven't really seen it like that um i normally just see it where they'll like set out an individual item and like you know side by side or something not all in bags together so a lot of times it is cleaner if you're interested in getting stuff for free to either keep or to resell but you don't want to get in the trash cans which is you know it's understandable it's not for everyone so you can do curb alerts and it's um really super fun and you can make good money off of it so yeah there we go that is part one of my i haven't figured out a title my curb alert video it's a terrible title whatever it doesn't matter so this is part one so be on the lookout for part two and oh my gosh pilgrim hasn't been in it we can't not let Pilgrim be in it. Don't mind all this weird setup of stuff. Hi, boy. What's wrong? What's wrong? You look sad. Why do you look so sad? Oh, are you just sleepy? Hi. A little bit sleepy. You cutie. He's got his fan set up pointing right at him. It's a little bit hot in our house. So he's probably just chilling, enjoying the fan on him. Okay, so there you have it. We saw Pilgrim, we opened some bags, and there will be a part two. Probably not a part three, but definitely a part two. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope that you all have a really awesome week and happy diving, happy curb alerting, and I will see you next time. Bye.